Reset snipers, how are you? How are you? Yes, uh, we're looking at the Fed Chairman Jerome Jerome Powell. Isn't that funny? Now, November the 28th, uh, all of a sudden, out of the blue, I've given it a day or so to settle down. Uh, the Fed Chairman backs off raising rates. Now, how many times have you come on to the Reset Sniper or the Market Sniper and heard me say, everything they say about raising rates is a fake out. They will never get more than a couple of fractions for a very short while and the whole parade, the whole shit show will tumble over. Um, it's simple because the sensitivity of the markets to interest rates has expanded ever so much more exponentially now that the financial leveraging of every global nation, every product category from student loans, subprime cars, every single aspect is now so vast and so big that small variances in interest rates call instant shudders. You can get away with one, you can even get away with two. Talk too aggressively about a normal full-flown interest rate rising cycle and after you've done one or two and you start throwing in the third and getting all bullshit, the market wets the bed. It does more than wet the bed, it craps in the bed good and proper. And then suddenly you have a clown of a Fed chairman. I think he knows this is all a game of deception. These guys are cabalist cartel orientated deceivers, just like Carney on Brexit, who's part of the uh, EU banking uh, committee. These guys are all part of a society. They're a little secret ring and they probably know if they don't know, if he didn't realize he's found that point <laughs> after doing his three rate rises. Now, all of a sudden, it's no longer about we're a long way from neutral interest rates. That was him on October the 3rd. The Fed was saying a long way from neutral interest rates onwards and upwards and higher. And I was saying, BS, you're wrong. You're going to be recanting that far faster, far sooner than you ever possibly could. Mr. Big Hawk pushing up the interest rates. He's going to take you back to real stable economist, economic environment. He's going to taper the Fed balance sheet. He's going to do all these things. He doesn't explain how the market is going to react, who's going to take all that debt off their balance sheet, how you're going to pay the interest rate bill on some of the biggest debt accounts ever created in global macroeconomic history. That's right. Your tax take barely covers what you do on entitlements, interest and defense. Nothing else. Those three aspects and your tax take can't cover those three things. The rest goes into new debt. How the hell are you going to crash the value of that debt and still expect people to buy it? How the hell are you going to service a semi-serious interest rate on that environment? Suddenly, Suddenly, the market rallies on Wednesday after he backs down. That's right. He blinked. He blinked. It entered into correction territory, the market. That's right. A 10% drop from its instance highs. Let's run that by. Let's do an action replay of what your Fed uh, hero almost created here for you. He almost brought about reset. He's testing the water. They want to realize there's no better way than doing that than having a little go to see how it all works out. What did the market do? Boom, boom, boom. Next thing you were at 8,000. Next thing you're trading with a six in front of it. Wow. 8,100 to six. Just with that. Seems the market didn't like that. By the way, you actually traded a 6.8 at its lowest point. Very short succession after. That's a four hourly, not a daily chart. Bring it on to the daily. You can see how that came out. All that while, 
all that while, Saudi never pushing more oil out in, in its entire history. Why? To flood the goddamn market to keep a lid on the prices. Why? Because Russia is making too much money and they are an economic enemy. Um, and the Saudis are intricately tied to the petrodollar and the interest rate cabal. They are like Israel, one of the same tied in with the whole cartel. What did you get out of the oil market? Boom, it started going up 76.95. We had a small uh, HVF, not so small actually, um, that made its target a bit of overperformance, then down, down, down she threw. 76, almost 77. Next thing you know, you're trading with a fall. <laughs> That's a little bit of a dump. How about that? That went well. Your little interest rate experiment. Guess what? People are going to stop buying. Oil is in everything. It's in deliveries. It's in plastics. It's in packaging. It's in the products themselves. It's in absolutely everything. It's the Rockefeller tax. Guess what? You suddenly ended up with a huge problem. When they realize the stock market is collapsing, they think, oh no, we need to reduce people's uh, expenditure. Oil's a massive net disposable income killer because it's in everything for you. It's like a general sales tax. It's another tax, basically. I call it the Rockefeller tax. Suddenly they have to cut that tax real quick so that the stock market doesn't roll over and die. Wow, well done. Even Bitcoin, if it's correlated, people feeling pain, suddenly dumped. We saw it coming. We saw it coming in a technical pattern. You can learn more about what we did and how we called for the 6,000, uh, my apologies, 3,744 low that would have got you out round about there. That's right. Um, round about there on the downside save please stop popping notices uh 3764 over there from a sell-off from 6100 you can learn about the method show up on december the 5th at 1900 utc stroke gmt time you'll learn about that and more and how the oil market had to go down to try give some disposable back to everybody in terms of what's been going on so a little fed chairman got the feedback mechanism he always wanted so he was the guy who was going to take us substantially back we were a long way from neutral interest rates in other words we're in a highly stimulatory environment guess what that paradigm died we have to stay these are our new normal rates you can't up rates the new neutral is not <laughs> The new neutral is naught. In fact, everything is priced for perfection and only has downside risk. You fiddle with those rates in, in the upside direction, you only have downside risk. It's exceedingly sensitive and compound interest dictates that they can't go up. They will never hear me now and I'll repeat it and I've said it 10 times if I've said it a hundred times, there will never be a normal interest rate environment again till post full financial reset. I will say it again with this amount of debt in all the nations all the way around the world, corporate, governmental, there will never be five or six percent that used to be the normal average for a neutral economy. Never, ever again. You won't ever even get close to it why because as your hands gone into the cookie jar you've grabbed ever more cookies there's no way coming up where the cookies equals debt and you've just got so goddamn much you can barely twitch it a millimeter up before the whole damn show gets jammed in the bottleneck you can't afford it these are the new rates these rates will be eternal till reset reset needs to come we need to flush out this fake fake broken economic environment where there is no real monetary policy. Hear me now, there is no real monetary policy of any great significance. You're talking about wiggling in a room. This is five fat men squeezed into a phone box trying to light a cigarette. It ain't going to happen and God forbid anyone farts. There is no room. There is no room. Monetary policy is defunct. It doesn't exist anymore on any significant scale. And you will go to QE and currency destruction when the reset falls. All the things they did before, bail-ins on an epic scale, um, all are coming. You've got to decide. You want to go into that, highly leveraged, 
so that they can come and own your stuff. You're going to go into it with just one banking account and a six digit sum in there or more. Or are you going it prepared for what is coming? Able to short with a true method to short the crap, the Ponzi valueless crap that they have hyperinflated in the zero interest environment whilst proliferating money and lending to their insiders, giving it to corporations for next to nothing to buy their stock back for free so that big CEOs that are part of their Bilderberg uh, committee, their Bohemian Grove, the CFRs can all make their option strategies and be paid a hundred million in a year whilst you and the middle man suffer. You suffer. That's what's happening, guys. That's what's happening. And this guy just did his stress test of the interest rate environment. And guess what happened? You saw how far he got. It's a long way short from 5%, my good friend. You're a long way short. Why didn't you carry on upping your rates? Guess what? We said you couldn't. We said you wouldn't. We said you'd turn around. We said you'd back down. And everything that has been said has occurred. Guess what? You're now on a flatter line for interest rate hikes. And he's going to keep talking a tough game every now and then, but he's going to vacillate between being tough and being uh, conservative. And it's going to be a little, little game, depending on what their little Ponzi stock market casino scheme is doing and the nature and set, uh, position of the banks and all the corporatocracies that they support. They do not work for you. The game is to tilt the table and get all the wealth into the societies and Kabbalist controlled nations that are all part of their cartel and to shake you out. We are on track for post reset, a technological oligarchical corporate communism. That's right, where they will know everything you do through surveillance. Meet the new Stasi, your mobile phone. Meet the new monitoring. It's all coming. And if that sounds like good news, guess what? You can escape. There is a way out. You can be smarter. But don't be listening to the horse manure that spews out of these guys' mouths like Mark Carney on Brexit as well. Should I mention another central banker? This guy got humbled. He got owned. He should be embarrassed and shamed if he was semi-serious. He probably knew all along he'd be doing this. Um, I, I wouldn't put down to incompetence that you can accredit to genuine deception by a cartel of deceivers that have never worked for you. They don't aim to serve you. They serve the private banks that own them. That is the story. Time you got your act together. Time you got braced. The reset will have to come. There is no normal monetary policy. Get ready now. Start preparing. See you on the 5th of December. If you want to be one of the few guys getting your shorts in before they ban it, guess what? They won't want you to make put open any new shorts once it's obvious that everything is just about going to zero. You're going to have to be early. You're going to have to know where, where to do it. And you're going to have to be right. Shorter season is coming for the global asset Ponzi scheme that has been inflated to the moon. Watch out. I'll speak to you further on this and many other things uh, in due course. See you also at Acapulco Dollar Vigilante. Crazy people called me the hundredth most influential people in crypto. That is an absolute uh, joke, I think, but I'm delighted and flattered nonetheless. We'll see you then. Um, and don't forget the webinar. And final point, final and, 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 excuse me for that. Final point, the mini course will be coming out. We're finishing the final two videos. You should start to get the first drops as we go into the first half of December. So slight delay there. Apologies for that. Speak to you then. All the best.